What's happening traders, Alex here. And today we're gonna to be talking about market data because I recently opened a second account with IBKR to separate my day trade from my option trade because I wanna focus a bit more on option trading this year. So today I'll be activating my data and I'll show you guys which one I'm actually selecting for my option, but I'll also activate the stock data. So if you're looking to trade stocks or option, we're gonna be covering everything you need to know in this video. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. Also, all the tools that I'm using to day trade are linked in the description. So don't forget to check them out. Let's get started. So we see over here that we do not have market data on the level two but we do have it on the time and sell so if we just put a ticker over here to show what i'm talking about you guys are gonna see that everything is printing but we're not really getting data over here we're seeing the chart the market data on the option is lagging it's about 15 minutes behind same thing for the chart so we're going to be adding data to everything to do this we're just going to click over here subscribe and it's going to bring us to the market data that we actually need so we're going to be adding this one and you guys can see the price it's only four dollars and fifty cent it is super cheap compared to other market data and we'll start with this one we'll go over the other ones right after so over here they're just validating that we're adding your subscription at four dollars and fifty there's also a 10 bucks for the futures snapshot and over here we just need to sign our name and click next and over here is going to see a big thank you so we're subscribed now we're going to look at what it looks like on our level two to see if we need to add more data or if it's enough for us so now we are subscribed and we can finally see some data over here and we can actually see that the market is actually up to date right now so the issue that i see over here is when we look at the market data it is not fully complete because we're not getting arca and bats which are one of the biggest exchange when it comes to the stock market so we definitely need to add these to have full market data and have everything we need something i realized also is that we do have some option data that is actually coming in for completely free which is actually pretty good so i'm pretty happy with that i thought i would have to fully get the market data for the option but i'm actually seeing the data when it comes to the level two so what we're going to do is click subscribe once again we're going to just go back to the stock to make sure we're getting the right data at first and we're going to do the same thing we're going to go subscribe and now we're going to look for the book that says nyc arca book so this is the one that we want for the moment so we're just going to click continue and what we're going to do is click confirm so we're going to log out from this and see what it looks like now in our level two so over here now we see that we have a lot more depth and we can see that we have a lot more market data when it comes to data in our level two we can always change the color to something that looks better than this this looks pretty bad in my own opinion all right so we're back in tws i made a couple of change and we're actually the next day because i had some issue with my camera and microphone so this part of this video is going to be a little different so over here we see at the bottom that there's not the subscribe button anymore so what we're going to do is over a count over here and subscribe to market data and we're going to scroll down until we see it's nasdaq total view because this is the one we want to add there's going to be this one over here for 1650 just going to go down until we click next all right so this is now all the data that we're actually getting so we have the nasdaq total view we have the arca book and we also have this one over here and this one which is going to be a wave if we trade for more than 30 bucks of commission which is for sure going to happen so now we're back in tws and we can see that we have arca bats and we also have some nasdaq data that we didn't have before so we're fully complete when it comes to stock so now we're going to be looking at the option to see what we really need for the option data to be fully complete all right so we finally got to the additional option data over here it would be the nyc arca option something i realized is with the first bundle it actually gave us oprah which is the level one for option data and I wanted to trade option and I still want to trade option, of course, but what I really want is sell option. So when I'm selling option, I pretty much just need level one because I need to see the active price of the stock, how much open interest there is, volume and all of that stuff and the closest bid and the ask to know at what price I'm going to get executed and I actually don't need more depth. I think what I did is actually think like a trader that's going to trade and really look at the bid and the ask and I wanted more data, but I actually don't. So what I'll do is I'll just subscribe to this for now and I'll leave it comment down in the description if i decide to add data and also let me know what kind of data package do you have if you're using ibcar because i would love to know because that seems pretty cheap for market data it costs something like 20 bucks 25 bucks for everything and it's a pretty good deal compared to das trader and sterling trader pro which costs like hundreds of dollars let me know what you think of this video hope you enjoy all the tools i use today trade or link in the description thanks for watching peace